Hello and welcome to Feed the Beast Creations where I show you all the wonderful things that I've made in Feed the Beast. Today I'm going to be showing you this extremely simple way of producing biofuel. So let's get into showing you how it works. The main idea behind producing this biofuel is from biomass which is then made from plant balls. So to get these plant balls what I've set up here is an extremely simple way of producing absolutely loads of wheat. So let's get into showing you what happens when I turn it on. And there you go, you can see um, pretty much one wheat is produced every couple of ticks and it's then sorted by this machine here. Um, there's the interface for it if you want to know it because it's actually quite complicated for me anyway. Um, so yeah, basically the wheat goes into this chest here which is then turned into plant balls which goes into this ender chest. Now you don't need the center chest, the only reason the center chest is here is for ease of creating the machines in different places. So um, I'm going to explain a little bit about this skeleton spawner here and why that's there. Okay this skeleton spawner is made with um, soul shards. You need to kill 1024 skeletons by any other means and you'll be able to create the spawner which honestly isn't difficult. Um, I've done it in survival mode and it took me probably about three hours, not counting the half an hour it set, took to set up the skeleton trap. Basically though, you can toggle it on with this lever here. Um, I've just set up um, a red power cable. Um, I think it's called a faceted cable. So yeah, I'm going to turn it off because they're very loud when I'm at the bottom. Basically now, the, all the drops will end up in these iron pipes and the sorted here. The bones go into the automatic crafting grid and that turns them into bone meal um, and then goes into the ender chest up there um, and the other ones just go into the, the other arrows just go into the recycling machine which I made in episode 1. So you can see lots of bio um, um, there, plant balls are being produced now and the plant balls go into here. So I'm going to show you how this part here works now. Okay, so this part here isn't completely renewable because it requires fertilizer for the fermenters to work. Fertilizer is extremely easy to get, however, and you'll get a very large supply of it from Appetite, so it's not really a problem, it's just you're going to need to refill it every now and again. Although one stack does last a very long time, so it won't have to be that often. Right, so to get this started, you'll need to put a single bucket of biofuel in a combustion engine <coughs> and that will give everything power and then these things will start working as you can see and then biomass is then pumped out into these stills <coughs> the stills will then produce biofuel which will then get pumped into this tank here so I'm going to show you what it's like when some biofuel has actually been produced and yep, then I'm going to also show you some statistics about biofuel. I have just noticed that this iron pipe doesn't actually work, so I've just corrected it by making it go over the top. So just a little note there. And there's our first bit of biofuel heading to the engines, and also the tank. So um, I'm going to have to wait for about a bucket's wo um, two buckets worth actually to fill up. So I'll get back to you when that's done. Oh, I also thought I should mention about these water things here. So they're basically aqueous accumulators and they'll create water for you. Um, water is needed for the fermenters and the combustion engines so it's extremely useful to have a couple of them. Um, I tried having just one on my testing world but you do actually need two because um, it just doesn't produce enough for the engines if you only have water on. Um, so yeah, um, right, just another little note there. Okay then, I have two buckets of biofuel, so I'm going to show you a little bit about what the biofuel can be used for. Basically, it can be used to produce electricity at the um, production value of 32 EU per bucket. So you'll just put it in a bio generator and then it'll produce electricity for you. These are not the best source of EU, but they're not a bad renewable source, so yeah. But where they're really useful is build craft energy. So one engine will, um, if you put biofuel in there and it's going to need water, a lot of water, 
basically if you put the water in there so it doesn't overheat um, one bucket uh, 5 mg output per tick will produce 20,000 no, 200,000 mg which is a lot so um, this fuel is mainly for build craft not industrial craft but it can be used for industrial craft in a fairly efficient way okay then so I'm going to give you a little bit more information and I'll see you there okay as always the world download will be in the description and as a little bit of information about the world download I have changed it slightly in the fact that I added some command blocks down near the bed which will automatically set it to day every 10 minutes and I also set it set one to change the weather to um, stop it raining so it'll never rain and it'll always be day on this map pretty much which is quite cool and I've also changed that mob spawner over there for the blaze farm to be the same as this one so you don't have to go inside it now to turn the mob spawner on and off and yeah the, about this idea um, it's pretty simple but if you use it in a, a video can it would be nice if you would give me some credit for it and that's it um, see you next time guys